Yo, what's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and it is official now. What's TMZ say it? They just confirmed what we already knew. It's Kim Kardashian, Kim K. Files for divorce. She says, I can no longer take it. This nigga crazy. <laughs> what she did was meet with her uh, shrink. They pay $68,000 a year. That's for one of their shrinks. Notice I said a very key word there. What? $68,000. One shrink. They have a, what they call a holistic spiritual doctor shrink for Kanye. Then they have what they call positive reinforcement healing. Then they have a marriage counselor who specifies in marriages. <laughs> and I guess the counselor, the holistic doctors, and everybody else involved decided you should just go get the bag. <laughs> what Sino said was going to happen from the beginning. It didn't take a year. It didn't take two years. It didn't take three as soon as the ink dried on that contract where Kanye signed over part ownership to Yeezy, once he did that, he was simp of the century. If there's a simp of the century award, Kanye West should have it. This is what happened, ladies and gentlemen, when you're motivated by strippers. When you suffer from a porn addiction. When you have all of these things hanging over your head. And you date strippers and porn stars and next thing you know, you making got girls that's making sex tapes. Then you making her do things that she never did before in life, sexually. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know. We know, yeah. Not everybody likes the back door, yeah. You got to stop that. You got a problem. Listen. Here's the thing. She liked Kanye. As crazy as he was, he was always on the news. He was invigorating. But now, their friends don't like him. The mom don't like him. <laughs> it is time. Before Kanye, all of his views used to run and go, because Kanye had all the fame, he had the Jay-Z's, the Beyonce's. They didn't like his BS, but they put up with it. Then that all changed around. And everybody gonna be like, she got her own money. Yeah. And what people with money don't want to do? Spend money. They gonna spend your money. People with money don't like to spend their money. People with money like to spend your money. Now, he owed, he felt he owed his wife millions. While he was waiting on his money from the Lords of London, she paid all the bills. She was, they were in the middle of getting their new mansion built. 
Nothing puts strain on marriages and relationship like money. So don't, don't fall for that love stuff. This is what I told you was going to happen. I don't know how y'all didn't see this happening. I laid all of this out for you, how this was going to go. From the moment he signed over part ownership to Yeezy. She do love him. And she waited ample time. She didn't rush into a divorce after that. She waited till he did another thing because he's Kanye. He can't help but be Kanye. He's going to find a way to Kanye West the situation again. It's up and coming. Just got to wait for it. Sure enough, I'm running for president. <laughs> and here we go again. He finna Kanye West the situation and screw it all up. He's very good at doing that. So you don't have, all you have to do is be patient. Any lawyers in the world, any doctor, they go to court, they're going to try to settle this behind closed doors. He's going to pay for his children. He's going to pay for everything. And at the end of the day, you ain't going to be broke. She going to still be rich. And y'all going to say, how? And the hell did this happen? And I'm going to tell you how in the hell you did not know this was going to happen. Sorry about that. Somebody sent me a picture and a video of my sister. It was her birthday yesterday. So they sent me videos and pictures in the middle while I'm making this video. But anyway, where were we? Uh, dumb Ye West. Man. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. He finna get hit hard. Well, she, she got so many angles she could use. Uh, he moved to Wyoming. You know, if you want to be isolated and don't have to deal with celebrity or nobody stalking you, move to Wyoming. <laughs> Montana, Utah, or Wyoming. You'll fit in good there. Because they don't give a damn about you. You can have $8 billion. Nobody will give a damn about you in those places. Chris was trying to advise Kim to divorce Kanye two years ago. They had a big fight, and he said some very disrespectful things to the mom, which he agreed to start seeing his shrink again and going back to his shrink. Before the blow up on stage, when Kanye went off on Jay-Z, Beyonce, and everything else, and had his meltdown on stage. Before all of this happened, Kanye West and Kim was headed for a divorce. None of you knew. He'll break it all to you. They were already headed for a divorce. Kanye West was leaving California completely. And he was looking and shopping in areas where he could go. He was looking to go to New York City. And stay somewhere in New York. Then he was looking in Miami areas. Should he stay in Miami because he wanted to be somewhere close to his children. This was a big, big situation that was developing. But they agreed because they did not want to 
get a divorce. Neither one of them really did. Kanye didn't want it. She didn't want it. Chris was pushing for it. Kanye agreed to start seeing a shrink. So while he was making the Life of Pablo album, he was talking to a shrink. A Hollywood shrink that's very discreet. Nothing could be released to the public. Kanye would go see him and vent. And like Larza told you, Kanye would call her at four in the morning and vent. And just vent. And vent. So, this is, uh, you know, this was the new reality. But they survived so many of these things, but divorce with them is inevitable. Once Kanye's personality switched and changed to what he is now, I knew that wasn't going to sit well with Kim. She supported it as long as she could because of her father. She didn't really believe in divorce. You know, her father got divorced. She did not want to be a person that just keeps getting divorced. You know, but she wanted to make a marriage work. But her mom told her, like, stupid. You don't get money that way. <laughs> Listen to me. You're going to divorce him, take all of his money, and then you're going to marry another rich guy. Live with him. Don't get married again. You've done that. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> so, I mean, Chris made a guy cut his balls off of her. So, can't quite top that, you know. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's funny. My buddy is telling me that. He just, my buddy just asked me about this. Just told me he the biggest Ye fan there is. So... Oh, yeah. Well, what we was talking about, dumb yay. Okay. Well, now that this is over, I don't really think there's too much nothing to say no more. I think we kind of know. We come full circle on this thing. So, I'm out. Love, peace, and hair grease. Carcito for life. Carcito on the cash app. I'm out.